termina la clase. What? Solo tres nos hemos conectado. La surma, yo y la ticha. No pasa de mierda hoy. <risa> es peor que solo yo estuve en la clase y en las hermanas tú. ¡No! Ay, help me, please. Y nosotros con ese huevo. Aquí quédate, boca, bien me explica. Oye, la clase. Así trabajo, así trabajo. Sí. Yo voy a ser un lugar donde ya me acá. ¿Qué falta todavía? Porque para mí, uy, pero tres minutos falta. ¿Qué está rascando? Mira que no rasque los sillones. No. ¿Qué es lo que tiene la mano? Uy, qué hizo.
Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Hello, Good everybody. Evening, Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Good evening, Sulma. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Fine. Okay. How fine. was your day? Um, fine. Um, I'm a little tired. It's a little tiring. Okay. All right. How are you doing with that activity you told us about the project? How are you doing with that? Um, uh, just a little. Oh, it's ready. Okay, good. And it's for tomorrow, you said, right? Yes. Oh, yes. nice. So good luck with that. I hope everything goes well. Thank you. Let me see Frank. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Teacher. How are you doing? I'm here waiting for the class. And I don't know what happened with the rest of the, the of our partners. Are they on holiday or celebrating Valentine's Day? Yeah, right. And they're in the Friday mood or something. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. We only um, very strange. Six today. We are only six. Only six. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I don't know. Some people reported to me that they had trouble with the internet and stuff. Well, some others have to work, but yeah. Anyways, it happens. So. They love this. They love this. They forgot them. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're gone. Ah, so, the most important thing that we are here. Yes, that's good. So, how was your day, Frank? Um, in a normal day, I think. Okay. Working in the morning, in the afternoon, uh, teaching new themes in art, as oh. uh, visual syntax and dimension. And in the afternoon, when I came from work, I tried to, to play guitar moment right. and learning some riffs of a, a song called Every Moment from a rock band Misfits. All right, very good. You had a busy day full of different activities. Exactly. That's cool. Okay, so good evening, Jose Manuel. Good evening, Miss. Hello. How are you? Hi, fine. Thank you. Great. How was your day? I'm tired day, but tomorrow is Saturday and relax. Okay. You got some time to rest. Yes. To enjoy your rest. Uh -huh. I'm right. ready for class. I'm ready for class. No. Nice. All right, mm -hmm. good. Thank Dalia you. Margarita, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good too. I'm fine. Okay, how was your day? It was kind of busy. <laughs> Paying yeah. taxes. Oh, okay. All right. But it was good. Dalia, was yeah. it good? I made it. All right. That's the important thing. Let's yeah. see. Susana, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? I'm tired. A little tired. Okay. How was your day? Uh, go to work. Uh, go to gym. Uh, I finish dinner uh, with uh, my children. You to me? Okay. No more. All right. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Carlos Jose, good evening. Good evening. How are you? 
So, so, a homeboy in a traffic. Oh, you just arrived home? Um, yeah. Wow. You're always so busy, Carlos. Yeah, you got lots yes. to do. Yeah. Today, very hard. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. But do you work tomorrow? I mean, do you work on, no, on Saturday? No, I have rest. Oh, okay. No. So that's good news then. You got some time to rest. Mm, yes. Por si no contesto, es que voy por una zona que no hay mucha señal. <laughs> okay. Thanks for letting me know. All right. So we're only um, a few people in today's meeting, but anyways, we keep on going. So we are going to start with our review. And let's see. Let's see what we got for today. Well, welcome everybody to our last class of the third week. So we are done with the 75% of the course. And we are going to start by reviewing what we studied yesterday, which was prepositions of time, right? So what can you tell me? What do you remember about them? Uh, the preposition in is, is used in, in long periods of time, like months, years, uh, decades, centuries, seasons. All um, right. It's used on, on, on days, days, hmm? days of the week. In yes. arts, I use that um, in some specific period, small period of time during the day, at hours, the afternoon, midday, at night, and so on. Okay, perfect. So you remember them all, Frank. You learned them by heart. Good. Yeah. So yeah, we got on, which is for talking about days and dates. And then we have at, which is for something really specific, which is time, right? Clock time. Okay, now let's talk about some examples. So give me some phrases or some expressions using in. Any ideas? February, we celebrate Valentine's Day. Okay, so let's keep it as a phrase and then we're, we're making sentences. So that's good in February. And what else do we have? Celebrate. Um, now let's keep just the phrases because then we are making sentences. So. So in February, what else? So we use it for long periods of time, months, centuries, years, and seasons. Give me some more examples. How about in 1845, for instance? What else? Make some more. In the 19th century, the 19th century. Okay. Summer. Other in summer. All right. Any other? In the past. In the past. Anything else? In the morning. Okay, in the morning. Also, we say in spring, for instance. Any other? Yesterday we had many, many examples, so keep on remembering them. The last decade. Okay, in the last decade. Any other? In 
in the next century. The next century. Yeah. Okay, good. Here we have some examples using in. Now tell me some expressions using on. Saturday. On Saturday. On December. On December or in December? On December. Okay, so then we have to make it a full date. So it could be on December the 12th, for instance. Because remember that whenever we're just referring to a month, we use in, in December. But then if we are saying a full date, we say on, on December 12th. Cuando menciono solamente el mes, utilizo in. Si es una fecha completa, utilizo on. Okay. Okay. So let's keep on making some more examples using on. Friday on morning. Day. It could be. On Friday morning, yes. On my birthday. On my birthday. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. Yep. Any other? One that we use a lot on the weekend. What else? On Easter. On Easter or in Easter? Um, in ah, no, I said yes. in. In. So, For that one, uh, we use in. Mm -hmm. Date uh, mm, mm. on July 15th. Okay, on July 15th. Okay, okay. Now let's move on to at. Can we make some examples using at? Night. At night. Mm -hmm. What else? At low, low time. At lunch time. Sunrise. At sunrise. Okay. At night. Ah, yes, that. Yeah, it's there. Mm -hmm. At midnight. At midnight. And how about At clock weekend? time? At the weekend, that's another one you can say. At the, at seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. We like that time a lot, right? We keep on repeating it. <laughs> okay. Um, Any other? At the university. At the university. Yeah, that's a, a correct phrase, but it refers to a proposition of place. It's not time anymore, it's place. Okay. So how about we say at 8.45? Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we go from the general to the specific thing, right? So in is for general things, like when we refer to a month, to long periods of time, years, seasons, and so on. Then we get to, to be more specific by mentioning days or dates using on, and this one is the very specific one, right? When I go to the clock time or to a specific time of the day. Yeah. Now, let's continue by making some sentences. So Frank, you had one, it was in February. Ah, the last. In February, I say, uh -huh, in February we celebrate. Valentine's Day. Okay, great. All right, any other example using phrases with in, on, or at?
example, you could say I was born in 1993. What else? In, in, in summer is very hot. The weather is hot, very hot. Okay, in summer, summer the, weather the weather is, is very hot. Very hot. Any other? The, um, the, the group will meet again in the evening. The group will meet again. Yeah. Right. Any other? In July, celebrate. Fiestas Julias. July, we celebrate uh, Fiestas Julias. Mm -hmm. yep. And we always, we always, we go, to, always. go to the beach in the summer. Okay. Okay, now let's try to use on or at in sentences. Uh, I, I go out at seven o'clock. I go out at seven o'clock, okay. Um, dun, dun, dun. I go out at seven what else? Floor. Think about your routine, for instance, like on Monday, what do you do on, on Monday? Weekend. Okay, on the weekend. I go, I visit my family. I visit my family. Okay, how yeah. about we use on Monday? Well, what can we say? Um, I we have are... meetings. I have meetings. Work. Uh, work. Yeah. Any other? We always we always meet at lunchtime. We always meet at lunchtime. Very good. At night. 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 I sleep and I have some nightmares and dreams. Can you repeat that one, please? Night. I sleep and I have oh. some nightmares and dreams. I sleep and I have some nightmares and dreams. Dreams. Right. Great. Yeah. I usually. I usually. Get up at four and thirty AM. Four thirty AM. Great. How about we use one with a date? Great. Yes. With a date. Uh, at, let's say, for example, I got married on on December twenty two. December twenty second. Twenty second. So. All right. Any other? Let's try to use dates. Uh, my beer, my birthday is on July twentieth. July twentieth. Perfect. So Any other? Valentine's Day is. Yes, on. Um, the clock. Um, February 14th. 
Jose, do you have another one? I like going to the park on Sundays. I like going to the park on Sundays. Okay, good. We got plenty of examples using different phrases such as in February, in 1993, in summer, in the evening, in July. Then we also have in the summer, um, at seven o'clock, on Monday, on the weekend, at lunchtime, at night, at 4.30 at a.m. on December 22nd, on July 20th, on February 14th, and on Sundays. Very well. Now let's continue by talking a little, bit, a little bit about the days of the week. So we may just practice them and review them pretty quickly. I know you have heard them before, so let's just um, remember about them. So we got Monday, after Monday we have? Tuesday. Tuesday. Then? Wednesday. 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 What's next? Thursday. 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 Then? Friday. Friday. Saturday. Saturday. And? Monday. Sunday. Sunday. Uh, Sunday. Okay. So we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now let's practice pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Monday. 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 Tuesday. 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 Wednesday. 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 So in that case, we do not really pronounce that D over there. We just um, omit it, right? We just omit that one and we say Wednesday. 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 Repeat, please. Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, then we have Wednesday. Thursday. 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 Friday. 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 Saturday. Saturday. Sunday. 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 Okay, so that is what we have for days of the week. And um, let me see, Susanna, can you read them, please? Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Very good. Let me see. Well, Sulma, read them, please. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Perfect, Suma. Thanks. Cecilia, can you read them? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Very good, Cecilia. And Jose Manuel, can you read them, please? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, excellent, Jose Manuel. Now let's repeat this too. We got Tuesday, Tuesday, and this one is Thursday, Thursday. So let's keep Thursday. on practicing those. Tuesday. Repeat, please. Tuesday. 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 Thursday. 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 Tuesday. 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 Thursday. Thursday. Okay, good. Keep on pronouncing them so we get to the right thing. Then let's review the months of the year. Um, maybe you know them. We start with January and then what do we what do we have? January, then February. 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 March. February. We get March. March. Yep. April. April. May. 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 June. 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 
November, December, December. Okay, very well. Now, um, let me pronounce them for you. We got January, then February, January, 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 February, March, March, March April, 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 May, 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 May June. June, June, July, July, July. August. August. August, August, September, September, September. October. October. October, October, November, November, November. December. December, December. 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 Okay, so let's repeat this one. August. 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 It sounds like an O at the beginning. August. 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 Okay. August. Now let me ask Frank. Can you read them, please? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. November and December. Very good, Frank. And let me see, Dalia Margarita, read them, please. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Very good, Dalia. And how about, let me see, um, Cecilia, can you read them? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Very good. Susana, can you read them, please? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Excellent. Okay, so let's continue by reviewing the times of the day. So um, remember that for some of them we use in the, like when we say in the morning, then we have in the afternoon, and in the evening. But for night, we say? Night. For night. Yep. What do we say for night? We do not use at in night. anymore. We say at night. Uh -huh. Night. Night. And then we also have some more like at noon, at midnight, and that would be pretty much it. Then we have, well, we can add the others like at lunch time. It will be part of it. Lunch at time, at breakfast time. At the brunch. Oh yeah, at brunch. That's a good one. And at dinner time. So just keep that in mind. For morning, afternoon, and evening, we use in the. And for all the others, we use at. So let's repeat them. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the, morning. In the afternoon. In the, the afternoon. In the, the afternoon. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. Evening. Repeat this. Evening. Evening. In the evening. At night. At, at, at night. night. At noon. Night. At noon. At noon. At midnight. At midnight. At midnight. At lunchtime. 
At lunch time. At breakfast time. At breakfast time. At breakfast time. At brunch. At brunch. At dinner time. At dinner time. Okay, so keep that in mind. Remember we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but we say at night. At night, at noon, at midnight. Okay, let's keep teacher, on going. Teacher, teacher, one question, please. Tell me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. About brunch, what, what does brunch mean? Oh, please? brunch would be um, a meal that you have between breakfast and lunch. So it's, for example, breakfast on Sundays. Yes. So, for example, let's suppose on Sundays you wake up in late, like at eh, around 10, for instance, and then you do not have breakfast because it's too late, but you do not have lunch because, I mean, it's not lunchtime um, yet, right? So then we say that you have brunch. So it's something in between. That's thanks. what we mean by, by brunch. Okay, okay. thanks. All right, so here I have a little exercise for us to solve together. And um, let's try to choose the corresponding preposition of time. We use in, on, or at. So we got September. What do we say for that one? In. In September. How about 12 o'clock? At. We say at 12 o'clock. Winter. In winter. In winter. Then Easter Monday. Um. Mm -hmm. On. On Easter Monday. Then we have the 4th July 1776. Mm -hmm. At. On. Um. On. Because we're using a date or we're referring to a date. Then we have Christmas Day. We say. At. At. Oh, yeah. um, at or on? On. 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 This one we use on because we're, we're referring to the day. Then if we were talking about Christmas in general, we would say at Christmas. But as we are mentioning day, we use on. Then we have Tuesday. What's the proposition for Tuesday? On. Um. Yes, we say on Tuesday, weekend, at, we can say at, or we can say on. As I explained yesterday, we have at the weekend for the British English and on the weekend for American English. Then we have my birthday. On? Um, yes, in. Say on my birthday, on my birthday, in the end of the week. What do we at say there? At the end of the week. Yes, we use at, at the end of the week. Okay, let's keep on repeating. Uh, please say in September. In, in September. September. In September. At 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock. In winter. In winter. In winter. On Easter Monday. On Easter Monday. On 4th July 1776. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. On Tuesday. On Tuesday. At the weekend. At the weekend. At the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. weekend. On the weekend. On my birthday. On my, my birthday. birthday. At the end of the week. At the end of the week. At the end of the week. The the week. The the week. Okay, let's keep going with our review. So now it's time to review the WH question words. What do you remember about them? What question words have we studied? So the very first one, what, right? What else? When? Who? Where? When? when? Who? Where? Where? What else? 
Why? Why? How? Which? How? How? Which? Which? And? Whose? Whose? Okay. So, what am I asking about whenever I use what? Asking, we're asking a specific information. We're asking for specific information? No, that's okay. That's a good example. What are you doing, right? Okay. Then let's talk about when. When? What do we use it for? We're asking about time. Asking about time. Okay. And who? Asking about people. A person. A person. A person. About somebody. A yes. A person or people. Good. And then where? A place. It's for asking well, about a place. Place, location. Very good. And why? It's for asking about? A reason. A reason or an asking explanation. For reason. And how? What can you tell me about how? Manner. Yes, it's for asking about manner or the way in which something is done or something happens. Then we have which. Which is for? Choice, 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 right? Choosing between different options. Then we have whose that one is for. We're asking about belonging or ownership. And belonging, ownership, possession. Very good. Now. Oh, I forgot to practice pronunciation. So let's do it. Repeat after me. What? 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 When? What? When? when? Who? When? Who? 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 Where? 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 Why? 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 How? 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 Um. Which? 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 Who's? Who? Who? Who's? Okay, remember that this one is who and this one is how. Repeat please. Who? How? Who? How? Who? How? Who? How? 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 Why? 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 Who's? 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 Okay, now let's keep on going. Okay, now we're reviewing the information questions with the verb be. So what do you remember about those? Can you give me some examples or tell me some information are, about them? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Can you repeat that? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Okay. All right. Let's keep on making examples of WH questions with the verb B. Other examples? And how, how are you? How old are you? Any other? Who are you? Who are you? Great. Any other? When did your birthday? When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Okay. Any other? Where is she from? Where is she from? Who is the car? Who is the car? What time is it? What time is it? Anything else? What's your name? What's your name? Okay. What 
Bros. Where are you from? Where are you from? Any other? Why are you late? Wait. Why are you late? What's the other one, Jose? Which is your sister? Which is your, Which is your sister? sister? Okay. Any other? Why are you angry? Why are you angry? What jacket is this? Jacket is this. Okay, good. We got some different yeah. information. Who is the questions. woman? Okay, who is the woman? Good, let's add it. Great, so we got plenty of examples, very good. And then let's, let's continue with the information. Oh no, we got an exercise before that. So we're going to ask and answer some questions so we keep on interacting and um, practicing, right? And producing. So let's see, Frank, how old are you? I'm 43 years old. Okay, now Frank, you ask another person, please. Same question. Seria mm. Susana. Why are you why are you sleeping? <laughs> I'm sleeping ten o'clock. No, why are you sleepy? Why are you sleepy, Susana? Why are you sleeping? Um, I'm sleeping, I'm tired. Because you're tired, okay, <laughs> good. All right, Susana, keep on asking. I got, well, let me just show you the questions I got here. And in case you want to use them, that's fine. Or if you want to make your own one, that's perfect. So Susana, keep on asking. Sulma. Uh, Hello. Present. What's your phone number? Uh, my number is seven seven thirty six um se come de noventa ninety um, se me olvidó todo por el momento. 18, no, oh, 18, 18, ¿verdad? 18. 18. Mm -hmm. That's 18. correct. Okay, very good, Sulma. Now keep on asking another classmate, please. Um, um, Dale a Margarita. Uh, what's your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is uh, watch uh, series in the Universal Channel. Okay, okay thank you. Dalia, now you ask. Okay, Carlos Campos, who's your favorite singer? My favorite, <clears throat> My favorite singer is Selena Gomez. <laughs> okay. All right, Carlos, now it's your turn to ask. Cecilia, what is your favorite place? My favorite place is the beach. Mm, very good, Cecilia. Continue asking. Uh... Dalia Ramos. What's your favorite kind of music? Uh, hello, my favorite music is um, reggae. Okay. 
Now, Dalia, you continue asking, please. Eh, Jose Manuel. Yes. Jose Manuel, what hall are, perdón, how old are you? How old um, are you? ¿Cuál 39. 39. 39 years old. Uh -huh. Okay, good. José Manuel, continue asking. Frank. Hey, I'm here. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is reading. Great. And let's see, I think I think everybody has participated. Um, yeah. Cecilia, have you participated? Yes, right? Okay. Yes. All right. So everybody has participated now. Now let's continue by talking a little bit about the information questions in the simple present. So what do you remember about this? What is different from the information questions with the verb be? What's the difference? We use do and does. Exactly, we use auxiliaries, do or does. And once again, remember that we use do for the subjects I, you, we, and they, and that's for he, she, and it. Now give me some examples. What do you need? What do you need? To do your homework. Do your homework. Great. Okay. Any other example? Um, does she go to school? Sorry, can you repeat it? Where does she go to school? Does she go to school? Mm -hmm. Very good. Any other? What do they do? What do they do? What do they do in the park? Okay. Oh, what do they do? Muy bien. Fine, I added in the park. Okay, what else? I I do I do my homework in the night. So let's make a question, Jose. Maybe it could be when do you do your homework? Okay. What else? Let's make more examples. When do you prefer uh, go to the beach? When do you prefer going to the beach? Okay. And the other, let's try to use why. Let's make a question using why. Why are you weeping? But using do or does? Uh -huh. Why? Why does, why does she mm, Let's see one more time. <laughs> Daria Margarita, you said one, right? Can you repeat it? Couldn't catch it. Why does Pedro call his Why girlfriend? Does Pedro call his girlfriend? Okay. Any other? Cecilia Mata was going Words. first. Oh, Cecilia, Words. what's the other one? Who is your friend? Who is your friend? Um, that one is okay, but it's with the verb be. 
So let's keep uh, on okay. using do or does. Okay. Where do you live? Where do you live? How about you seen who? Who do you love? Who do you love? So let's keep those examples. Now um, we are almost done with the review, just missing. But we are going to keep this question for later if we got enough time, because it seems it's, it's time to go to the practice. So let's just talk a little bit about what time. Questions with what time? What do you remember about those? Can we make some examples? What time? What time do you, do you get up? Do you get up? Do you get up? Okay. Any other? What time? What, what time work? is it? What time? Is it? Is it? Okay. What else? What time? Your time does. What time? What time go to work? Do you go to go work? To work. What time do you eat breakfast? What time does the sun rise? Rise? Rise. What time does the sun rise? What time does the sun rise? What time does she? Hmm. Time does she arrive for school? Arrive from school. from school. Okay. Any other? What time do you go swimming? What time do you go swimming? Great. So now that we've reviewed all the topics, we are going to go ahead and practice in small groups as we always do. So let me show you today's practice. Here we got exercise A, write the corresponding WH question work. So um, you have to write what, where, why, which, how, or whatever other WH question word that fits in the sentence, in the question, sorry. And here we have the question and the answers. So check the answers in order to choose the right question word. Then we have exercise two. I thought I had named it as B, exercise B. And we're going to match the questions to the answers by drawing lines. So here, like, what is your name? My name is Sam and so on, right? Then we have exercise, let's call it C. Unscramble the questions. You just have to put the words in the right order. Exercise D would be choose the correct question word. So here you have some options. You just choose the one that fits. And in exercise number, well, exercise E, we are going to make 10 questions using what time? So let me give you 25 minutes to complete the practice. And I'm sending you to the breakout rooms now. And let me remind you that I'll, that I'll send the practice to the WhatsApp group. So there we go. Let me open the rooms.
Matías a las 4 y 40. Ay. Ah, ya el esfuerzo. ¿Ya llegaron los archivos? Ya. Ya están. Ya, ya. Sí. WH. Ya están, vea. Ya, ahora bueno. empezamos con la 1. ¿Quién la dice? Quiero ver, espera, espera, espera. Comentario. Espérame que no me lo he abierto todavía. Ah, ya. Pues yo digo que quizás la pregunta de dónde, de uh -huh. dónde vive, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde tú vives o dónde usted vive? What do you sí, live? Where, no, es where do sí. you live? ¿no? Sí. Va, entonces, ¿y where? responde? Responde a mí solo. I live in London. Susana, le toca la segunda. La segunda es What is that girl? Mm, no. No, no. no. Es. Guay. Guay, ¿no? No, no, no es eso. Acuérdense que hay que ver la respuesta como para determinar. Sí, eso no, estoy no. viendo. Ella es mi hermana. O sea, que, ¿quién es, es ella? ¿Quién? Ajá, ¿Who is aquí? that? Ah, Who is va. that girl? ¿La respuesta? She's my sister. She's my sister. Ismael San. Ahí está Ismael San, lo que no, quiere, no nos quiere dar la cara. Ah, Ismael. 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 Y se ha hecho. A andar en Marte. Bueno, no está, sigamos. Pues, no estaba. No, me imagino que no. Uh -huh. Give an answer. No. Give an answer. Where do you go to school? Ah, no. Sí. Mm, okay. ¿Es? La tercera, tengo duda. Where do you go to school? Ajá. No, no, no. Where do you go to school? How? Way. How do you go to school, verdad? ¿Cómo vas a la escuela? Uh -huh. Sí, verdad. By bus. Sí, sí. By, by bus. The fourth one. Fourth. Number four. What, quizás? What the bank's open? Oh. What? What do things open? Mm. What, verdad? Mm. Huh? What do banks open? No, no, no. no. Hay que ver la respuesta. No. Ajá. ¿Cuál es? Ah, es el club. Ah, es aquí. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál será, Jochumanuel? Sería... ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál, quizá? Bueno, como no, porque está hablando sobre el tiempo. Ajá. Entonces, uh -huh, leemos completo. Uh -huh. want, the, want the banks open at 8 o'clock. Muy bien. Vamos, Susana. Mm, why are you in the, in the pool? Why? Uh -huh. Y responda. Because I want to swim. Ah, la sexta. What, what is your math teacher? Mr. Mm -hmm. Dundee. Ah, número siete. What, what era, verdad? Sí. Sí, la seis. Séptima, José Manuel. Este sería... Eh, sería Wussi. 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 Who's? Uh -huh. Who's? Who's? Uh -huh. okay. Who's is his cat? The blue one. Ah, no, 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 no. Who's? Okay, please. Uh... What? What is? No. No. No, I tengo duda, tengo Which? duda. When? Where? Ajá. Ajá. Porque de quién, de quién es el Who's? gato, eh, verdad? Mhm. Mm no, 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 es que no, no es who's, ajá, no es who's, es wish. 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 Ajá, wish is his car. Which is his car. Which is his car. 
de ahí es el blue one. El blue one. Susana, le toca. La ocho. In the living room. Where? Sí. Wearing my backpack in the living room. Ajá, backpack. Where is, perdón, where is my backpack? Where is, ajá. Ajá. Who is an engineer? ¿Quién es el ingeniero? Nora. Mm -hmm. La 10. What? Over. What? La, la 10, ¿te acuerdas? Ajá. What did you do? Bath. What okay. color is the new what bath? Ajá. Ajá. Well. Red. Red. Mm -hmm. Susana. La 11. What is that? Mm -hmm. That is an old coin. An old coin. Hey, acuérdense que si hay eh, palabras que no conozcan, hay que avisar o hay que ayudarnos. Mm -hmm. Coin, ¿qué significa? Es vale. moneda, es moneda. Coin. ¿Cuál? Una moneda coin. Bien. Coin. Coin. Oh. Coin. Sí, hay que preguntar, no hay que coin. quedarse ahí con la duda. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Where are my shoes? ¿Dónde están mis zapatos? In the front, in front of the dog. Okay. Mm. Sí, José. Uh -huh. uh, who is the captain of the team? Julia. Julia. Uh -huh. Y ahí sigo yo va. Quiero ver. Uh -huh. Where is the captain? Uh -huh. She's at the team. ¿Cómo dijo? ¿Cómo dijo? Where is? Ajá, vamos, sí, sí, sí. Ajá. Where is the captain? She's at the gym. Ajá, vale. la última sería Who is Mr. Durant? He's my best friend. Él es mi mejor amigo, el ejercicio 2. Uh -huh. Ahí tenemos que ordenar, ¿verdad? La pregunta... ¿Qué es su nombre? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Qué es su nombre? Mi nombre es Sam. La dos es: ¿Quién es su clase de clase? 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 ¿Quién es su Who is, the, who, is your class ah, is, is, who is your class teacher? ¿Quién es tu profesora o profesor de clase? Mm -hmm. Pero aquí en la respuesta no creo que es our. Porque dice our, our Nesta. Uh -huh. A menos que preguntara, who is our class teacher? ¿verdad? Respondería remember, la segunda que está ahí. Remember uh -huh. that your can be singular or plural. Or, or plural. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I remember, remember I can sí. say, for example, Frank, who is your teacher? So I'm referring to uh -huh. yours only. But then I can also uh -huh. ask you, your teacher to Jose, uh -huh. Susana, uh, Susana, and Frank. So then you answer uh -huh. our teacher. Uh -huh. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Okay. Let, let's say, see which is your. Ah, uh, bueno, la respuesta es. Mm. Our class teacher is Alan. Which is your desk? The second one. Todas están a la par. Yes. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer is a singer. Okay. Y están a la par. Qué raro, ¿verdad? Sí, todas están a la par. Bueno, pero lo bueno es que le hemos pegado. Okay. Estamos con la tres. Exercise three. Unscramble the questions. La uno. How old are you? ¿Qué dice la indicación? Eh, que hay que armar la pregunta con las palabras que están allí. Hay que ordenarla, mejor dicho. Ordenar. Hay que ordenar la pregunta. Por ejemplo, ahí dice, you all, how are? Entonces sería, how old are you? Sí, 
Sí. Sí. Ok. Vamos con la dos. Sí. Ahora vamos a ir una y una. Vale, vale, está bien. Uh, what is your name? Sí. Tres. What day is today? Where are you from? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Okay. La cinco. What are your hobbies? Mm -hmm. La seis. What time is it? Sí. La siete. When is your mom's birthday? Who is your best friend? Sí. Who is your best friend? Okay. Nueve. What subjects do you like? Mm -hmm. Nadie. Where does live your sister? Where does the, where does your sister live? Sorry. Where does your sister live? Mm -hmm. Where does your sister live? Who are your parents? La doce. Uh, what day? No, no, no. Uh, no, no puedo hacer eso. Ahí sería, what are their... Names and surnames. Que sería, ¿cuáles son sus nombres y apellidos? Entonces queda, what, what, what are? There, what are there? Surname, name. What are their Surnames and names. And names. Uh -huh. Number here, please. Mm. Sí. La trece. How much is that book? How much? Is that book? Sí. Which is your profession main? Sería your main profession. Which is your main profession? Profession. Which is your profession main? How are all they? Which is your main profession? Which is your main profession? Exactly. Mm -hmm. How old are they? Other are. <laughs> are they? 
Okay. Exercise four. Just the correct questions were. Do you wake up? Who? No. When do you wake when? up? Uh -huh. En base a la respuesta se uh -huh. coloca la pregunta. Correct. When do you wake up? Uh -huh. Cecilia, sleep. Where do you sleep? No, no, no. Yo. Yo. Dale. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ok. Sorry. Where no, no, Aquí no está la respuesta. O oh, quiero ver. Ah, un, un, no, nosotros. Pero, no. Where do you live? Where? Mm -hmm. Ah, where do you live? Yes. Ok. La, la tres de number Who three. is your brother? ¿Cómo es tu hermano? Le estoy preguntando. How? How is your brother? I see. Sí. It's how. How, yes. Uh, number four. Uh, what is Where? this? What is this? ¿Qué es esto? Where is this? What? 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 What is this? Is this? Yes. Mm. Number five. Why? 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 Why do you take in this class? Yes, why do you take in the class? Uh, I need it. I need it. Yes. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> Where? Where? Where does your father work? She? No, he works at he works the, the post office. office. Number seven. How? How do I cook rice? Como cocina arroz? You need to use a pot with water. Ese es un niño. No, la niña. Ah. La niña que está viendo tele. Number eight. No, ya se durmió, André. Ah, bueno, no aguantó, pobrecito. Sí, ya se durmió. Gwen is... Eight. Gwen is... Gwen. Gwen. The party, yes. ¿Cuándo es la fiesta? No, es que chivo. El lunes. ¿Cuándo va a ser la fiesta, Dalia? Eh, Sunday. Ah, ok. Ahí está. <risa> Ella sí va a celebrar, mira. Ay, sí, desde ahora estamos celebrando. Una idea, ¿ves? Ahí le llego por ahí. Va. Vaya, chivo. No, no. Es de dos, no Why? de tres. <risa> Why are you sad? Why are you Why? sad? Number 10. Where? Eh, where? 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 Where is the bank? Where? Where is the bank? ¿Dónde está el banco? Is... Está en la aven cuarta avenida. English. <laughs> Make the question use what time? Diez preguntas, Dios mío. So, es speaking. <laughs> to, uh, speaking. <laughs> speaking. What time? What time to, do you go to sleep? Uh, right now. What time Uh -huh. Cecilia las está anotando y no te da copia. Estoy poniendo 10 veces, estoy poniendo 10 veces what time, what time, what time. Para ah, después yeah. solo poner el complemento que me va a decir. What time do you have coffee?
¿A ustedes que les gusta el café? Uh, no, ¿Qué es, es Adalia, Adalia Margarita. ¿Ah? What time? Adalia Repeat. Margarita le gusta. Repeat, okay. please. What time do you have coffee? Ah, oh, ok. Ay, es como ya no. suya también. También. Oh. What time? What time do you take a shower? What time? What time do you take a shower? Mm -hmm. What time do you dinner? Okay. What time to do you dinner? Eat. Eat dinner. Eat dinner. Y no le pone el eat, solo le está diciendo a qué horas tú comer. No, tú cena. <ríe> Yo ceno bien así, ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿A qué horas tú What time? Cena? No sé. time. Do you do your homework? ¿Cuál? <coughs> do you do your homework? Do you do your homework? Your homework. What? Time. What time? No. What time does he study? Okay. What time he does? Ah, does. What time does? Does. Does he? Does he study? He study. Okay. What time? Dalia, díganos uno. Oh, no, perdón, me estoy durmiendo. What time do you exercise? Mm, me falta el verbo. Do. What ah, time okay. do you? Do you do? Do you do? Do you do exercise? Ok. Do... El primer do es del auxiliar. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. I... Right now, no. Never. <laughs> what, what time do? What time? You watch TV with your friend. Go on, repeat it. Do you watch TV with your friend? <laughs> ¿Cómo se okay. escribe watch? Watch. Way. Y A C H T. Ok. Cuatro, seis, ocho, faltan dos. What time? Do you sleep? Ya la pusimos. Okay. Ya la pusimos. No. Fue la primera. Sí. Sí. Ah. What time no do you? What time do you? Entonces llevamos. The mountain. Entonces solo nos faltan dos. Nine. Sí. Nine. What time? ¿Qué? Nine. What time do you climb the mountain? ¿A qué hora tú Nine. escalarás la montaña? Uh -huh. C, 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 L, mm -hmm. I, yeah. M, B, climb. C, L, A, M, M no, M I. G. C, L, I, M, B. Climb. 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 No, climb. C, L, I, M, B, climb. La montaña que no es montaña. Mountain. Yes. Y climbe. 
escalar. Climb. Oh. Sin la E al final. ¿Sin E? Sí. Ah, climb, te oigo. Climb. Climb. What time, time. Do, what time do you wash your hands? Okay. What time do you come to your house? Quiero este peine el pelo. Come. Que otra nos falta ya, ¿verdad? Yeah. So you finished. Ay, la teacher. <laughs> No se había percatado que estaba ahí. No, todo le escuchó. Bien, no, teacher, no falta. She listened all. Todo lo que dijo Dalia le escuchó. Yeah, Dalia. Pero escuchó solo cosas buenas. That's solo right. a vos te sos escucho. Ay, no que pena. <laughs> Don't worry, I understand you're tired and sleepy. So I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> Sabe que antes de las clases de inglés, uh -huh. yo usualmente me dormía a las 8.30. Oh, yeah, so it's hard for you. Ay, es, esto ha sido difícil para mí. Créanme. Yes. Qué chivo dormirse tan You're temprano. <risa> Cuando otros apenas vamos llegando a la casa, es ahora. Ay, Dios Carlos. mío, ¿qué? Ay, no. no. <risa> Trabajan lejos de su casa. Sí. Oh. Así, a dos horas de tráfico. ¿Qué? Goodness. Me Pero acabo de desmayar. <risa> Yeah, I always complain because I live one hour away from my work, but um, it's hard for me. I hate it. I hate traveling oh. and all that, but two hours, it's too much. Yeah. So it's hard. To I go to the office at uh, 4 a.m. and go to my house at 8 p.m. <laughs> Good. All day. Carlos living in office. Yes. yes. I love my work. Why? Él, él se va a ir a vivir a la oficina. Dios mío. Oh, Carlos. <laughs> okay, so we're getting back to the main room in just a minute. Okay. See you there. Hello everyone. How was the practice? Did you finish? Yes, we did. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do we have any questions, any doubts about it? Okay. It was good. Yeah, I think today's practice was easy, wasn't it? Was easy, right? Yeah. Easy. Okay. Yes. Great. 
All right, so now we are going to continue by practicing on our students' students' manuals. So here we are missing a couple of pages to complete unit number three. That is what we are going to work on now in the remaining minutes. We are going to complete pages 30, 31, and let me see which ones we're missing, 36. 37 and 38. So um, I'm going to give a chance to solve those exercises in groups. So I'm sending you back to the breakout rooms to work together. And just remember, we are solving page 30, 31, 32. And oh no, 30 is not part of it because let me see. Yeah, we have already worked on this one. So it's 31, 32, 36, 37, and 38 five pages. So keep on reading the directions and developing the exercises. If you get a conversation as in here, you read it, you practice it, and then you get some exercises and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll be visiting you in case you have any doubts or need any help. Okay. 30, 31, 32, 36. Yep. 38, in, yeah, 36, 37, and 38. 37, 38. Okay, here we go. Es verdad que en cuanto a las páginas tenemos también la 30, ¿verdad? Esa no la tengo, no me, me imprimió. No, pero ahí me van a ayudar ustedes. ¿Cuál? La 30 no la tengo. Ah, pero la 30 ya la habíamos hecho, Fran. Ah, entonces la, a partir de la 31. Sí. 33, dijo, creo. 31, 32, 36, 37, and 38. Thanks, Tish. Ah, pues estamos, estoy completo entonces, muy bien. Mm -hmm. Empezamos con la 31. Sí, con el ejercicio. A ver. El 13 ejercicio, empezamos con el, prim el primero, ¿verdad? 31. 31. Sí, page ter uh -huh. 31. Sí. Okay. Exercise number one. Ask, ask some classmates about their, their duties they have to perform at their workplace in share. Tenemos que preguntar a los compañeros a ver acerca de las funciones, ¿verdad? Que des, desarrollan en su lugar de trabajo. Ajá, tiene que, tenemos que hablar. ¿Quién empieza? ¿Algún valorudo o valoruda? I, I make some reports. Solamente. A lot of reports. A lot. A lot of reports. Okay. Fina okay. Financial reports. Ah, financial financiera. Ah, yes. I, I, I use a lot of Excel. <laughs> Excel. You're a master yes. of, of, of Excel. Yes, I'm I master of Excel. Yes. Ah. I humble man. Cecilia. Next. También, ¿verdad? La, sí, por dos le voy a decir yo. Ay, por dos. Reviso lo que él hace. Ah, por tú. Muy bien. No, pues le toca ahorita. Ay. Sí. Ya habló, le toca. <risa> eh, I, yeah, bueno, hay procesos. Curs, curses. Compras. Ajá, curses. Ah, eh, curses. Hay. Elaborate reports. Um, yes. That's so, all. Sí. Okay. Siguiente. Um, José Manuel, I, ya estaba preparando. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, I in the work and I use my computer 
um, to enter report in my work today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Sulma. Um, okay. My work is um be responsible the workshop of a workshop uh supervisor activities the the todos como digo of all the fall of all uh -huh. fall um Muy bien. Como yo, I, I teach our class in the workshop with my partner, Sulma. I teach theory of color, theory, history, syntax visual, syntax, visual syntax. And I teach how to draw, how to paint, how to sculpt, and how to engrave. Muy bien. Entonces nos pasamos a la segunda. Ok. Ah, bueno, pero aquí uh, tenemos que hacer la conversación, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. ¿Hagamos parejas? de dos en dos? Sí, sí parejas. Uh -huh. En el mismo orden que lo hicimos. Carlos sería con Cecilia, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. <coughs> What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new products and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some bags. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Next. Bueno, sería Jose Manuel con Zuma. Okay. Uh, what, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report a book in why because i need someone to help me move some boxes can do you me a favor sure what is about what does um, Mr. Ruiz have to do that day. I'm not so sure. What time does the finish to work on the Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Muy bien. Entonces la tercera está basada en lo que acaban de ustedes hacer. Uh -huh. y... Subrayar cuál es uh -huh. la parte que corresponde, ¿verdad? A la pregunta. Uh -huh. La uno sería: What do Albert? Uh -huh, what does Albert have to do on Thursday? Uh -huh. Ah, y tenemos que responder. Entonces es: What does Albert have to do on Thursday? La respuesta sería: Check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Uh -huh. ¿Quién hace la dos entonces? Te toca, Carlos. Carlos. Hola. 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 
Espérame que me perdí. Ah. Who, muy bien. Who, who, no, who do you think is going to help Kevin? Who do you think is going to help Kevin? ¿Quién piensa que va a ayudar a Kevin? Mr. Ruiz. Sure. Sí, ¿verdad? Sería Mr. Ruiz. Uh -huh. Ah, muy bien. José Manuel, te toca. Eh, what does Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? Uh -huh. eh, sería, Mr. Ruiz had to do that day? No. Finish to work. 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 Démosle. He finished to work. Sí, porque ahí hay una parte donde le pregunta. What does Mr. Ruiz do? Ese día. No está seguro, dice. I'm not sure, dice. Ah, pero dejémosle así, como lo dijeron ustedes. Estamos en el 32. La número 5 sería, ¿verdad? Yes. Tenemos que ordenar. Great question with the word problem. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Zulma le toca. Ordenar, la verdad. Sí. No, uh, crear. No. Crear preguntas con mm -hmm. las palabras. Sí, pero es que lo mismo. Ah. Ordenar. Utilizar, ordenar. utilizar do. Ordenar. Ahí no está. Ordenar. Do, ajá. ajá. Ordenarlas y agregarle do o das, como dice ajá. Carlos. Uh -huh. Ah, vaya. Entonces queda. Why does he have a meeting? Uh -huh. Considero que sí, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Voy sí. yo con la segunda. Where does she process the payments? Okay. Donde ella procesa los pagos, ¿verdad? Tercera, eh, Carlos. Don't... What does Ingrid do on weekends? Ajá. Qué rápido. Eh... Cecilia. Manuel, okay. whatever, Manuel, whatever, estaba apagando esta cosa de veras de la batería. Ya se estaba when does employer, Uy. what ¿qué dijiste, what does y es la cuarta, ajá, uh -huh. when, 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 ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. When does, mm -hmm. when does um, employ architect the raw material? Sí, the raw material. Yeah. Cuando adquiere el, el empleado el material en crudo, algo así, raw material, uh -huh. lo que van mm -hmm. a procesar, ¿va? Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? No, like materia prima. Oh, materia, materia prima. prima. Ah, bueno, gracias. Thanks. And your turn. Let's say. Create a conversation with two partners about the daily activities. Hello, Fatima. Uh -huh. Hello, Fatima. Mm -hmm. Are you bossy? On. I can put it on. On Monday, on Monday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Do you know about the new pro? That the company launches. Mm -hmm. There's a presentation Person about in it. By, uh -huh. At. At. Only <sighs> five four five, mm -hmm. but I can meet you. At. Mm -hmm. On the corner on Fritz Avenue and. Um, Main Street. What do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be in March on Saturday, on Sunday. Oh, 
Vamos a ver. Para de ir las seis. Using the information. Right. What some of the activities that your classmates have to do? Ten minutes. Vaya. <laughs> ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahí? Uh, en la cual en la, la 6 de la 36 es de ser un gran párrafo. Ay, Dios mío. Ahí ven si nos pasamos a la 37, se ve más interesante. Pero sí, pasemos. Using sí, the information for exercise 2, page 35. Ah, oh, pues sí, pasemos. Vocabulary practice. Work with a partner. One is A and the other one is B. Work with the word from page 37. We'll scramble the words and write them. So your partner guesses the name of the department. Vaya la uno, hay que ordenar la palabra. Cocino, up, to, in, drossing, to, to, for, huya, que dirá, doc, foto. Sí. Check the vocabulary on page number, I think it's 29. It's at the beginning of the unit. So. Check it so you remember about it. <laughs> what do they do? Research. La dos, ¿cuál es? A la uno, definition, what do they do? Definition, ay. Okay. Surprising, definition, what do they do? Research and, invest, and identify customers. What customer and identify what? ¿Qué vamos a poner ahí, Dali? Yo entendería que definamos la uh -huh. palabra. Sí, uh -huh. la producción, por ejemplo, está en la página 39, eh, 29, que es la primera. Uh -huh. Ahí dice production. Develop. Design. No. Sí, aquí se La dos sería purchase, ¿verdad? No es purchase. Uh, boy and acquire raw material. Boy and acquire raw 
Raw materials. Otra es Human Resource Management. Uh -huh. Human Research. Entonces la primera es Production. Uh -huh. Production. Sí. Se me ha perdido esa página, ¿no? Es la 29. Ah, 29, gracias. Yo de ahí copié. Sí, hombre, aquí está. A ver. Vamos a seguir purchasing. En producción. Human Resource Management uh -huh. y la otra. Purchasing. Keep la 1 nice. es Production. Producción. ¿Quién no lee la, la, la primera? La primera es Control and Supervise. The production workforce and inventory. Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno. Mi purchasing is by a pure raw materials production equipment, etc. For the use of the organization. Sí, muy bien. Terminamos la, el ejercicio 2. Simple present information questions. Six, six information, information questions question using the YWH first provided. Then ask them to a friend and write down, down the information. Mm -hmm. Serían seis preguntas, una cada uno tenemos. ¿Qué inicia? ¿Qué inicia? What do you do your homework, Frank? I teach some, some people to, to how to draw and paint. Okay. Hoy yo pregunto a, ah, quiero ver, a Zulma. Mm -hmm. when, when do you go to church? ¿Cuándo qué? Cuando va, when do you go to church? Ah, uh, cuando va templo, a la iglesia. Cuando va a la iglesia o al templo. Ah, uh, Sunday. Um, Sunday, no, um, no. Este... I go to church. Ajá. I go to church. ¿Ah? La preposición le falta. La preposición. Ajá. Um, I go on Sunday. On, no, on Sunday. On Hoy pregúntele Sunday. a cualquier otro. Um, vaya. Le voy a preguntar a With Manuel. José Manuel. José Manuel. Sí. Um, sí. Where, where are you from? I from in Santana. From my mama. Sí. From my mama. <laughs> I from in Santana. Santana. Okay. Me a Cecilia. Why? Why? Why que podemos preguntar jugar? Why do you sleep? Why? Because I tired. Ah, hoy Cecilia me pregunta. Which? ¿A quién le pregunto? A mí. A ti, Fran. Which? Wish, 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 do you favorite music? wish, 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 w
sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿Se podrá Wish también? Wish, podría ser Wish, es más específico, color ¿verdad? do you prefer? Yeah. Se so, podrá yeah, you, can say, you can say both, what or ah. which, but as you mentioned before, so it would be more specific if you say which. Uh -huh. bueno, but what my, is general? My, my, my answer is, my favorite music is rock and heavy metal. Uh, hoy, le okay. hoy le pregunto, Carlos, who's your favorite classmate? Oh, it's obvious. ¿Quién? ¿Quién? Uh. Class. <laughs> favorite. No, classmate. 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 Yeah. Compañero. Compañero. Ah. Compañera o compañera. Oh. Ok. I don't prefer. <laughs> no Anymore. está aquí. Anyone. <laughs> no. Muy bien. <laughs> all. I love you all. Ah, no bueno. está en este grupo. <laughs> sí. Sí, bien, solo nos queda la página 38. ¿Quién es la, la, la tercer ejercicio? Eh, number four is marketing. marketing. Number two uh -huh. is development. Eh, ¿Cómo era? And research, Arch, and development. research and development. Uh -huh. Es la dos, ¿verdad? Y la seis. La seis sería. Accounting and finance. Uh -huh. Accounting sí. and finance, yes. Y la definición. La dos sería research and development. Definition. Definition. Las 29 están todas, las 29, 29. Definición de las dos, crees. Sí, research and development. Research. And develop the thing new or improving existing product or process. Ok. Processes. La 4, que es marketing. Eh, ajá, voy a decir la 4. Marketing, marketing, research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Okay. Say finance. Account and finance. Keep, Keep the financial records of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Bueno, y nos queda las cuatro, jóvenes, ya para terminar, irnos a dormir. <laughs> Questions and preposition of time. The night is Interview. young. Frank. ¿Cómo, cómo? The night is young. La noche es joven. Ah, I'm agreeing with you. Sí. <laughs> Interview with partner about his or her activities on a typical day at work using information questions and preposition of time. What do you do in the morning, mm -hmm. Frank? I get up, uh, wake up, get up, brush my teeth, my, comb my hair, dress, dress, dress it up, and go to work. Okay. Hoy le pregunto a, vamos a ver, Cecilia Imperatriz, mm -hmm. what do you do? Right. So um, just before we leave, let me remind you that we have to keep on practicing in the platform, keep completing the exercises. Um, today we are going to be assigned the, the exercise or the homework number 15. So remember that the corresponding work for this week is unit number three, where do you work? And that includes homework 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And also let me remind you that here in video number 13, we got a discussion forum. So I need you all to participate. Um, here, let me see. 
So just under the video, we have the discussion forum. And here you get a question, describe your routine at work. What time do you go to work? What, what do you do there? And what time do you finish? So you must participate by adding a, a post or yeah, here you, see. you got the yeah, option to add a response. Let me see. So here you should add a response and you do it as Jose Manuel did. Here you just write two or three lines, it's fine. Add a comment and okay. we keep on practicing English. And remember only, that, tell me. Only that or we have another one or that's only, I mean, that one and the homework, right? Homework number oh, one, I mean, 11 to 15. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. But yep. this question, only the 13. Only that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And remember that this has to be done tomorrow by noon. Okay. So because in the afternoon I check and I assign the grades. So it has to be okay. done before noon. Okay. So I hope everybody has a good weekend. Take care. Rest a little, please. And have a good night. I'll see you on Monday. Okay, have a good good night. night. Bye bye. 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 Bye.